Pastor Greg here on this Monday where we continue our journey through the book of James. And the book of James is very instructive for us as Christians because it really is about growing in maturity. The uh, book of James has a number of key themes. If you remember in chapter 1, one of the key verses that set the tone for not just the first chapter but right through the book was that we are called to be doers of the word, not just hearers. It's easy for us to learn about the word of God. It's easy for us to say, I know the word of God. Much harder to put it in practice so that we are um, reflecting Christ in our everyday life. And in fact, more than that, that we are growing in discipleship. And I think the next theme that runs right through is James addresses the things that are immature in the faith and confronts us quite um, uh, quite starkly, really, and saying, if we continue in this behaviour, it demonstrates an immaturity in the faith. And of course, lastly, there is the relationship between a faith that saves and a faith that demonstrates Christian maturity in its outworking of serving others. And we see this in chapter 3, particularly now when James talks about what it is to be wise. Because there are, um, if you were look to a worldly definition of what is wise, you would see that it's not just people who know a lot of things, but people who know how to navigate the, 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 the secular system. So you would be wise if you know how to accumulate wealth, if you know how to, um, to accumulate power in your life, influence. These are the people that we would look up to and say, hey, you are wise. And James confronts that and says that wisdom according to the world is not the same as wisdom according to God. In fact, he would point to the life of Jesus and say that Jesus acquired no wealth. He amassed no status in his earthly life and he certainly had no power or prestige in fact when people offered it to him he turned his back on it and said this is not of my uh, my kingdom is not like this the idea as christians as we mature is that true wisdom comes in humility because being humble isn't necessarily a natural part of our um, uh, of, of our nature we are more inclined to be proud of the things that we've done. Not, and, and that can lead to an arrogance and a self-confidence which can see us not um, inviting Christ in and more than not inviting Christ in, not being on the lookout of how God is working in our lives. And so in James chapter 3, we're going to read a few verses now, he compares the, the wisdom of the world and the wisdom of Christ and confronts us with the these two choices and says we are to uh, embrace the wisdom that comes from Christ not just knowing about it but acting it out in our everyday life and we see this verse in James chapter 3 beginning at verse 13 he writes who is wise and understanding among you let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbour bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere, peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. Let's pray. Lord, may, we, may you send your Holy Spirit to each one of us that we may desire and we may grow in heavenly wisdom. In your name we pray. Amen.